What's poppin' everyone? Welcome to another episode of Remember When. My name is Jose. With me today are my boys Amir and Jai. Say what's up, guys. Yo, what's good? I'm not of this earth. You aren't. Where I'm are you from? From I can't explain that. It's <laughs> actually <laughs> <laughs> You sound like that one rapper, Majin Boo. I yeah, I'm a clone. <laughs> <laughs> So, question of the day for you guys. What are three stores that you think every mall should have? A game store, an arcade. I don't know, clothes. So, I'm looking for, like, <laughs> actual brands. Actual <laughs> <laughs> this man said, the place, the place, the place. <laughs> I mean, if Plan Trade was still around, I'd appreciate something yeah, like that. Okay, um, facts, facts. I think you always need a clothes store. I mean... Gap, Sears, I don't know. Like, that's usually always there. Foot Locker. Nah, food. nah, Foot Locker's overrated. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like you need, like, a good food store for real. And I feel like Chick fil A is, like, kind of like the New Jersey front runner for, like, restaurants. So, like, like right. if you have that in a mall, I mean, you're pretty much Gucci. All right. So I say, be, because these are the stores that I would go to. So, that the, these are my three is they should have a Tilly's, right? Because I do most of my shopping at Tilly's. Like, when I am in a mall, I should say, that's the store that I go to, right? Uh, FYE, because I love FYE. At least, like, I always go in there whenever I'm at a mall. Like, I, I always I always go in there. Even if I buy nothing, I, I like going in there and just checking mm -hmm. out what they got. And then third one, for me personally, I like Barnes & Noble, right? Because I, I'll actually go there and, like, bring my laptop and, like, study on occasion. Plus, like... I, I like uh, being able to grab like a manga or something like that and just being able to skim through it like while I'm there. So for me, th those are three stores that I think like every mall should have mm. because it, then it'd be for me. Rest <laughs> in ain't, peace, Borders. Ain't FYE in uh, like Morristown, ain't that that store where like you can sell like, a bunch of stuff, like wide variety, like clothes, out like art, like uh, Yeah, FYE, albums. they sell everything, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember finding a hentai DVD in one of them. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Great job, Johnny. Were you, were you searching for that, or you just saw it? I just saw it in like okay. the back corner of the room or just, the other uh, store. I just want to add context. That's all. Yeah, I couldn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> he tried though. He tried. <laughs> he said I was a dollar short. <laughs> he he said me one big boss. <laughs> Johnny was like, "I'll jailbreak your iPhone." <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a mini sode for those of you that are listening. So what? The, the just. Like a condensed episode. That's all it is. Yeah, listen to it while you're getting ready for work. Yeah, exactly. Don't take anything serious. Uh, actually, no. I feel like some people take like an hour to get ready for work. An hour? Shit. How long do you take to get ready for work? I usually just wake up, make my lunch, get uh, put on whatever I got on the floor, and then boom. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on like what kind of work you're going for. Like I get my lunch and all that, so like I'm not really too worried about lunch like that. But like. 30 minutes max. Yeah. That's okay. like max. Like, if I'm rushing, like, I got to take a flight and all that, I could be ready in 10 if you really put me to the speed, but... Right. Okay, that's fair. Fine, listen to this episode when you're taking the shit. There you go. Okay, I feel like that's better. Well, I, actually, no, that's not better. <laughs> Why mean? are you spending 20 minutes on the toilet? I don't know. See, people bring their fucking phones and video games and their switches. Apparently, they take long yeah, shits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know people that be taking hours in the bathroom. Yeah, so. fucking freaks. Are those your coworkers? Heck no, bro. You think I'm friends with people like that? <laughs> like, I saw it and I was like, uh-huh. Right. Soon as I'm out of here, bro, you ain't seeing me. That's actually my new friend test now. Like, anytime they go to use the bathroom, I'm going to just time them and be like, dang, you take 10 minutes? Not my friend. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Let me smell your hands. <laughs> Came out that bathroom rather quick. You wash? Yeah. Let me smell. I didn't hear you flush. <laughs> you didn't even use that sink. So, do you guys remember when Pluto no longer was a planet? Man, I remember back when, man, what was it, 2006? Yeah. Dude, I remember my teacher came in and she was like, oh my fucking God, kids, I'm sorry for my language, but Pluto's not a planet anymore. <laughs> and she had a heart attack and everything, bro. It was crazy. Yeah. So, correction, it was it was actually, uh, I think I think 2005 is like when they like officially uh, moved it from, from being a planet. Damn, fuck. It was, like, it was either 2005 or 2006. Caught me on my live, though. 
Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you said I remember my teacher. Bro, no, I, I, I remember people talking about that. And, like, maybe it's because I didn't have uh, the most consistent education <laughs> throughout my life. That's fair. But I was like, bro, we can't even get past, like, the moon at that time. <laughs> like, what are we talking about Pluto for, for real? Like, I never understood, like, the importance because it's like, could there be aliens? Yeah. But we can't get past the moon, so why the hell would they talk to us? You know what I mean? Like, bro, that's, like, the difference between, like, oh, this guy's riding past on a skateboard and I got the ripstick. Like, why the fuck the skateboard guy gonna talk to me? I got a ripstick. Like, that don't make no sense. We love that ripstick. Ripstick. Ripstack. Rip <laughs> I put some twang on it, didn't I? Dumb ripstacks. <laughs> you see, I, this is just how I remember it, right? So, previous year, right? Nine planets, and then... I had, I had like, it was like a quiz, right? And had said, how many planets on there? I said, oh, easy. I remember learning this, you know? So I put that down. They were like, idiot. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they said, Pluto's not a planet. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I said, since when? And they said, literally yesterday. I said, oh, that's great. All right, cool. That's amazing. But yeah, it just like, they just removed it. I was like, that's crazy that you could just remove a title like that. Now, do you guys know your planets? You guys know the order yeah, of your planets? Yeah, it goes sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Oh, wait, for Mars. pause. Did you just start off with the sun? Yeah, the That's sun. That's not a planet. The sun's a planet to me. As a kid, I thought it was a planet. <laughs> Ain't it a star? <laughs> yeah, it's a star, but it's a, I'm thinking about- It's the definition I'm, I'm of a star. I'm flashing back to, to kindergarten, to like first okay, grade. Okay, okay. That's when fair. I was like, thought everything was so a So you're looking at like the picture on the wall, right? Like yeah, that, yeah. that's what's in your head right I'm now, right? Sun, okay. Mercury, Venus, Earth. I'll count moon because fuck it. Uh, Mars, we got Jupiter because girls get stupider. And uh, Saturn. And then we got your your anus. And then we got Neptune. Boom. That's all the eight. <laughs> 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 Bro, I feel like this is such a Ned's declassified issue. Like, Do you know the order? Why? <laughs> Why? If guys... someone put a gun to my head and said, Amir, say to us right now, are you dead? Bro, I'm I'm praying. Like, <laughs> there's no reason for me to try. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just saying, I can name all them, but I couldn't do it in the order like you did. I don't even know if my order was right. I think it was right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, your order was right. It was right? Yeah. Thanks, Miss uh, Chang. I'll give you a golf clap for that. Thanks, man. <laughs> do you guys know what grade they teach? Planets? Bro, I must have missed that grade. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like I said, I don't know shit. <laughs> no, 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 If you don't know, me and Amir grew up in, with the Hawaii education system. I ain't gonna lie. From like first grade to like where, whenever we left, like for like fifth grade for me, I feel like all of it's just condensed in one block where I felt like I just learned, like, whatever the fuck. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever they just felt like teaching us that day. I don't even remember where we learned planets. When did we learn our fucking vocabulary and shit, like, or science? When did we start learning science? I don't even remember, bro. I, honestly, I'm not really sure, but I think, like, second or third grade is, like, what's common for learning that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, when, when you, like, start learning. Yeah, that's kind of crazy <laughs> that, like, <laughs> Johnny Johnny it could defeat a second grader, but we can't. Yeah, We're not no, smart. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not smarter than one. But yeah, uh, so okay, yeah, so it was two thousand six, Johnny. So, so you're you're yeah, right. So my yeah, so story was real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember stuff correctly, Miss <laughs> Chan. What was her name? Miss Ch was it Miss Chang or Miss Chang? You're so racist. It's oh not, my no, god! That was, that oh. I swear to God, I swear to God, I will find my yearbook. Her name was Miss Chang or Chang. <laughs> I will find my yearbook. I swear to God, I'm not oh, racist. Shit. I swear to God. Why is Johnny and A, yo? I swear to God. This ain't a real name. person. It is not a real person. She is. <laughs> she is. I swear to God, she is. Second grade teacher at I swear to God, I'll find you. <laughs> How you gonna put the whole school in there, too? Oh, man. Editor, bleep that out. <laughs> 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 yeah. okay. Johnny, you're actually a monster. <laughs> like he said, he condensed like several years into one big old block, so the memory not might be A1. <laughs> Man jumped off the slide, forgot <laughs> certain aspects. <laughs> Do you guys know? <laughs> Do you know what is the current smallest planet in our solar system? Pluto. <laughs> 
Is that your man's? <laughs> I don't know him. Oh, okay. Yeah, here. that's crazy. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew, right? <laughs> all right, but <laughs> what's your guess for me? Dog. Uh... I mean, think about it this way: the planets get larger as I, like you I don't it. know Venus. I mean Venus. No. Okay. It's Mercury. Yeah. 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 Because it's very right close to the sun. It's probably like melted away and shit. Do y'all remember the the planet song from Drake and Josh? Like when they 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 were like doing like a radio contest and like Drake was like, "Yo yo, come on!" He's like, "Name the word of the planets." He's like, "There was there was a song in in grade school." He's like, "Say." He's like, first Mercury, then Venus, I saw the Earth, then Mars, and then he just like rolled through the planets like that. Y'all don't remember that, bro? The only thing I was distinctly remember is have a good day. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I love, uh, what was it, Crazy Steve, where he was like, who am I enchilada? Bro, that man came out crazy for his enchilada. Bro, that, was right that man ride. made the bag for real. If you 100%. It. Made the whole show. Made the whole show. And he went on iCarly and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what What's the actor's name? Jerry Trainer. Jerry Trainer, yes, yeah, fantastic. I'm glad you put respect on a name. I'm shit with names like that. Yeah, I, I've slowly been getting better about trying to learn actors' mm-hmm. names because, like, now as an adult, like, I see, I, I recognize people in, like, more, more, uh, you know, cross-media platforms and all that, and I'll be like, oh, that's that actor, that's that actress, that's that voice, of, you know, that person. Because it, it's just good putting respect on people's name. You feel me? But if you guys could name your own planet, what would it be? Mm. Planet Ho. I'm going to be honest. What? Planet Ho. It's spell it. H-O. Ho. Oh. Like Ho, Ho, Ho. Like Santa. Why? I don't know. I like Ho. See, I'm more devious. I was like, I would have made it like, I would have just called it Heaven. Heaven? Bro, do you know how much that would mess with people? Ooh, yo. When you die, you go to Heaven. Which one? We don't know. Is it another planet or is it like a, in the clouds? Bro, you're creating cults from that. Bro, <laughs> you, you, you bro, already know. Do, do you see the support I might garner from that? <laughs> heaven you, you is what get, you make it. Let's all go to heaven one day. Drink the Kool-Aid. Let's go to this 80% gaseous planet that we cannot thrive on. <laughs> You go, you go make a partnership with NASA being like, listen, we can get these clowns. You go see just me in the next cult handbook, just me cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> they all went to Mercury. <laughs> you with just two bags of cash, just being like, yeah, they going to heaven. Yes. That's what, crazy. What you name your planet? What would I name my planet? Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to think. Well, I don't even know what would be like a good planet. And because like planet name is just like, it's just a plain name, right? I can name mine uh, heaven. You can name yourself. Only my limbo then. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. That's 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 a lot. I was leaving the Catholics alone, but no, we making our own religion. <laughs> oh, we really are making. <laughs> you, our own said cult. It, <laughs> you said it, not me. You said it. We're gonna call them rememberers. <laughs> Join the rememberers. Uh, you're not allowed to name yeah. followers. You're not allowed to. Name the best the one, the last one, and this one has been ass. <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely make that a poll. <laughs> what should that, I, yeah, what should our listeners be poll. called? The y'all, y'all, y'all know about that final planet though that they haven't that they haven't found yet. Planet X. It marks the spot. Is he playing with us right now? I feel like you're saying that, but I feel like I've heard the term Planet X before when people are trying to identify like <laughs> Earth-like planets. Because we're so hell bent on finding extraterrestrial life, you know what I mean? You want to find something as similar to the Earth because it might garner life similar to Earth. Not nah, bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm technically not bullshitting because people are like, that's like a theory. It's like, man, outside of Pluto, you got to look, there's Planet X. You don't know where that is, but it might be It might be out there. Y'all, it might even hit us. It might collide with Earth. Bro, I remember that was the theory. Your, your great, great, great grandchild ain't going to see Planet X. You ain't. <laughs> so, remember, remember Dr. Steel, man? Remember Dr. Steel? Dr. Steel. Yeah, he made that song. Planet X marks the spot. Planet X marks the spot. Bam, oh, bam, my bam, God. Bam, 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 this man with his jingles. This marks man. the spot. That's how I learned about it. I thought it was a real planet. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of that theory that there's, like, an eighth continent? Like, behind, like, a, the, uh, like, Arctic wall? Like, I think North Pole. I think that's what it is. What the fuck behind that? The wildlings? Well, so, they're saying because, so, like, uh, like the Navy or whatnot, like, I guess from the UN or I, I don't know which Navy specifically, but they, they had said that there's like actual naval ships out in that direction that like block that off to like anybody that is like, you know, traveling out in that direction. They'll be like, no, like you can't move this way. And they say that anytime you look at like 
3D prints of like the earth or whatnot, like notice how that area up on top is like always covered with like clouds or something like that. So like people have this theory that there's like another continent that's like being protected behind like the Arctic wall. So we need to go out there with the jet ski and find out for ourselves. See, the problem with that is when you're going into like very colder climates and everything like that, you need like big ass ships to like break through the ice and like ram through kind of. And I think eventually because global warming is kind of amping up at this point like the weather's been just nuts and i mean the polar ice caps are polar bears are gonna die soon i mean i think a bunch of rhinos already went extinct at this point so i don't know if my great great grandkids gonna know what the hell a rhino is preach, <laughs> at, this, at this pace preach. but you know as it's melting it's going to be harder and harder to uh cover up certain things and especially if it's covered in ice like old like anthropologic or anthropology that was what i'm trying to refer to like old artifacts like finding like a tool by like an old caveman and you realize humans started a, a hundred years earlier than what we originally started like a whole bunch of things are going to start melting and like we're going to end up like atlantis well i mean listen shout out people on like la florida because when the sea level rises, there's going to be a mass migration of folks just coming in closer and closer to the middle of the, the United States. Mm -hmm. That's their fault. Well, I mean, listen, New Jersey is one of the most highly populated areas. And if you're in Florida, a lot of people move from Florida to Jersey. So you might see New Jersey taxes so you gotta go, go to higher than what it already is. <laughs> you got to go to Maine. Yeah, I'll see y'all in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to New Brunswick. Oh, the the uh, Canada New Brunswick. There you go. There you go. Bruh, That's I mean, to. I'd move to Canada, but when I went to Disney World and then I tried like the Canada candies, I wasn't with it. Like I don't know what it was. Like it was like in the shape of the like the little leaf that they got and everything. And I guess it was made out of like the maple syrup, I, bro. You don't want to get milk in a bag. That's crazy. All right. You, uh, there's nothing wrong with you, milk in a bag. He, he's cut off. He's cut off. There's I mean, nothing wrong. I've traveled internationally. I'm used to that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have any uh, any other thoughts for our listeners for today? Um, planets are dumb. Um, and if is. it's not racist, but if we do find aliens, I probably should be the last person to refer to. And Miss Miss Chin Chang. What? Chang. <laughs> oh, you, what? Uh, okay, so when I do it, I'm racist. But when you do it, <laughs> no, I'm saying that we go. We, Johnny's well, going to find you. you by like three different on the names. <laughs> it's one of those. I know it's one of them. But uh, Johnny's going to find you. Take care of uh, take care of your planet. Take care of Earth. We love Earth. Earth has nature. It keeps all of us safe. I love Earth. <laughs> he does not. He does not. He yeah, does I don't not. do. I don't do. I don't recycle. <laughs> Thank you all so much for listening. Be sure to check us out on social media. Give us a follow on Instagram. Feel free to reach out to us that way. Uh, send us any topics that you want us to cover. And we'll try to get an episode done about it. So stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy. And we'll see you all next time on Remember One.